the performer of the main role in the three parts of the franchise about Bridget Jones, actress Renee Zellweger has signed a contract to shoot in the new Universal Pictures film with the working title Bridget Jones Crazy for a Boy. Other actors beloved by the audience will also return to the movie. The publication calls Hugh Grant and Emma Thompson. Also in the cast will include Chuatel Ejiofor and Leo Woodall. Based on the novels of Helen Fielding, the movie franchise stories of Bridget Jones tells about the life, experiences, and romantic adventures of the main character. As her lover in previous installments appeared Colin Firth as a thorough, in his own way charming and very reliable Mark Darcy. Firth has played in all three installments of the franchise, but has yet to be mentioned in the cast of the fourth installment. Although the finale of the third movie once again connected his character and Bridget, who had managed to have a child with another man, he was played by Patrick Dempsey. The return to Bridget's life of another beloved hero Hugh Grant, her irresistible and romantic boss lover Daniel Cleaver in the first movie and a con artist seducer in the second part will occur after filming in the third movie Grand Mist. At the time, he was reluctant to return to the project, stating that the script was very different from the book. The third movie starred Emma Thompson, who co-wrote the screenplay, as an ironic obstetrician gynecologist. The new movie, subtitled Crazy for a Boy, will tell the story of Bridget, who is just over 50 and overcoming the challenges of modern life and motherhood. Zellweger herself is the same age as her heroine, the American actress is now 54 years old. In 2020th year, she received her second Oscar for the lead role of Judy Garland in the movie Judy, the first award she received for Best Supporting Actress in the film Cold Mountain in 2004 years. She recently played the role of murderer Pam Hupp in the NBC crime drama Something About Pam. Earlier, the screenwriter of Bridget Jones's diary Richard Curtis publicly apologized for his films, in which sound inappropriate jokes, as well as for the insufficiently diverse casting of actors for these pictures. In particular, mockery about the overweight Bridget Jones now seems to him irrelevant and not funny. <laughs>